super duper nile What is going on everybody? It is ya boy and today we got episode number deuce of the funnest class setup. And today we're using the MK14 Desecrator. This is gonna be MK14 Desecration. That's what I'm gonna call this class. Um, basically, you don't have to like if you don't have this variant of the gun, you don't have to use it by any means. But this one just got an increased fire rate, so it just kind of makes the whole class come together because the MK14 as a base has a pretty good fire rate. But like if you're not if you don't have a really good trigger finger, uh, this gun will definitely help you out. Um, as far as other variations go, I don't know which other variations have increase fire rate but if you have one of those pick that one use that one it'll work best for this class now I don't have any attachments on this gun once you get used to the iron sights you really don't need anything because it's semi-automatic you don't need a foregrip and all that fancy stuff so for perk one courtesy of our perk one greed wild card we're gonna have lightweight and overcharge the reason that we have overcharged is to get those uh, boost slam like a better stun and uh, so that we can use our exo ability exo cloak a little bit longer which is kind of fun and then for perk two, we got blind eye, which is gonna help you stay off um, if other people get kill streaks, score streaks, things like that. Perk three, courtesy of our perk three greed wild card, we're gonna have blast suppressor, which is necessary, and scavenger. Now you might not think that scavenger is necessary with a semi-automatic gun. The reason that I have it on here is always double tap X to reload with this thing. It just makes it that much faster, and uh, you're gonna be able to kill more people consecutively if you're reloading faster, less time reloading. And then for our launch, we're gonna have EMP grenade. This is kinda just to, it, just to piss people off and get that little bit of an advantage over them. You hit them with the EMP, they can't boost, you jump over top of them, and they're searching all over the place trying to hit you, and they can't boost or anything like that. Then for score streak one, we're gonna have the UAV, we're gonna have the extra time, the threat detection, and support. When you're using support on UAV, I think that extra time is essential because you're already spending that much like 300 more score to get it anyways Why not make it last longer and then the threat detection just gives you that much more of an advantage And then the system hack with extra time disable exo abilities again paired with the EMP once you get that thing you're, You kind of dominate you, you kind of uh, a more of a super soldier compared to everybody else and then for a score streak number three, we've got the bombing run with the extra bomber. Now, this is a really fun class, guys. I'm playing with bots today, just kind of show you guys how it works. But you can see how fast this thing actually shoots. Um, you're going to be able to dominate your en enemies three, four, five shots. So, you know, you can pull off three, four kills in each one. Um, having that overcharged ability is going to be able to allow you to slam a lot more people and with the extra stun damage you really throw people off when you slam down on them so use that slam and this class will be way better for you guys the exo cloak also since you have the overcharged ability you're gonna be able to use it longer which is gonna help you run around you know get that extra like half second second advantage over somebody that doesn't see you right away and it's kind of a pick and choose situation with the exo cloak right like there's certain times it's good to use at certain times it's just the waste right like you might just waste pulling up your arm and clicking it and actually pulling it up waste more time like that and actually get yourself killed so pick and choose the scenarios in which you want to use it but guys this is a super super fun class i love the amk14 i've told you guys before that i love semi-automatic guns and i definitely think that you guys should try this um if you're not used to using mk14 or semi-automatic rifles um you know maybe go into a game of bots put them on the easiest difficulty and then just go around and practice your trigger finger because I, and that's probably the toughest part for a lot of people is the trigger fingers actually be able to, being able to use a semi-automatic like it's a fully automatic gun I've been able to do that for a while since uh, well pretty much the beginning of my COD career I've had a fast trigger finger it's just always been like that but that's just from practice I don't use a modded controller or anything like that and I've been called out for it a lot before um, I don't use a modded controller you guys can do this it's just about being twitchy with that right finger and you guys can do it anyways guys try out this class let me know what you think about it down below in the comments go follow me up on Twitter and I'll see you guys in the next video it's been your boy peace out